Hello, everyone. Uh, Tara is out tonight. She is dealing with some uh, side effects from her treatment. So we're trying to make, you know, make douche with, you know. So Luke has happily stepped in to help us out. Appreciate it, Luke. I'm not as funny or quick-witted as Tara, but I'll try my best. Oh, I'll try for you. I, and I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I will try. I, oh, I'm I'll also not. It. Yeah, I'm also not as um, jaded by years of terrible stories like Tara, so I'm not as numb to it. So, well, we've got a wonderful collection this week. Um, mm -hmm. Heard that before. <laughs> no poop. Okay. Yeah. There, there you go. There you. Woo! go. There you go. So you you can chill. I feel much. I feel much better now. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Let's get the intro going. By the way, I don't know why I don't set this up for the YouTube folks. Uh, Luke, he does Rocked. It's over on uh, uh, YouTube and on, on Twitch as well. Do check his stuff out. I will have links in the YouTube stuff down there. All right. Intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go on the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it here. What's we'll up? Did we like to call what the fuck's wrong with you? And right out of the gate, we got video. Like, this one was like a last minute one come in today, but I had to bring it on because... Oh, we got a late entry. Okay. Yeah, uh, th this was, this was, this was a world of what the fuck. Uh, let's, uh, let's get that video going. I'll get the link over here to you and uh, here... No, I don't, I don't want to send a file. I want to send a link, stupid. Uh, there. Figure your shit, figure your shit out. All right, here we go. And the is just saying, look. So, uh, you watch here. Here's this lady, um, in the parking lot. And, uh, she is running around the parking lot, crashing into every single fucking car. Look at her. Uh, they have questions. Just there's just had to tap that one. Her front bumper's already gone. Yeah. Um, I don't know why you're shoot. Why are you shooting vertical? What's wrong with you? There goes another car. There. A uh, guy comes out, tries to stop it. Um, uh, she's not having it. So fuck That's you. That's a brave man. Yeah. Um. Just imagine you're working one day, you look out the window, and then lady out there smashing her, sh her shit up. If no one's going to make take my remake of Twisted Metal seriously, I'll make it myself. Ugh. Like, that car is already... Whoa! It's not that... Almost killed her, so there's a thing. There goes another bumper. Um, we. And <laughs> right to the truck right there. Like you can't, and you can't use ex you know, the ex excuses of there was a spider or there was a fire. Not after car number nine. Yeah. I think there's like little raw about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That one and that one and that one. And there goes another one. There we go. She, she had a checklist. Yeah, she did. How? Wha was there any type of. Boom! There goes another one. No, don't, don't try and get her out of the car, stupid. Wait, what's up there? Oh, she will. She's no. If she's willing to do that to a stranger's random cars, what do you think she's gonna do to you? Get out of here. Oh, uh, what? Okay, first of all, this is not. This can't just be. I refuse to believe this is just one angry woman on one bad day. You know the whole fried green tomatoes thing. It it just can't be. I'm old. There has to be something sure. else. But after car number four, you'd think you'd get it out of your system, right? You'd woman, think you'd be done. Woman crashes into 10 plus cars in Orange County parking lot. Leads deputies on a uh, brief chase. It's, it's a word. Uh, Come on now. Open shit. There we go. Um, 33 year old woman was arrested after crashing into multiple cars. Then leading officials on a chase in the uh, Orange County Sheriff's Office said, video shared to social media shows a woman in a black SUV ramming into multiple cars in a parking lot. 
Several yeah. people tried to intervene. One person was almost hit as the woman drove toward him. Let me say the driver, who appeared to be under the influence, rammed into at least 10 cars before driving off. She then led deputies on a brief chase on the southbound 5 freeway heading toward San Juan Capistrano. Uh, she then stopped her vehicle in a construction zone on the side of the freeway and was taken into custody. The driver has been identified as Aria Alexandra Martin, being held on $25,000 bail. Okay, I, I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before because like movies and TV shows are scripted for stuff, little scenes like this. It's not even close to this, though. That one guy truly would have been killed yeah. if he did not die between those two cars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, I, uh, I want to point out, they say she's under the influence. They don't say what. Okay. And my vote is, of course, here, meth. Because yeah. that, that, is um, not, that is not alcohol. That is not no, alcohol. No, 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 no. That is sure as fuck not weed. That's not a downer in general. Uh, you, you know, uh, the, she is on something that gives her that extra kick in the morning. And boy, oh boy, was she going around town working on that. that. I feel like 25000 bail is also a little light for how much damage in public she's caused and making the cops chase after her. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But also, she's probably going to still have a license after this. So what do I know? What do I know? Faces of men. Uh, why? Why? The why in the fuck? And like, why that parking lot? Why, why does she just decide to do it there? <laughs> Every car she could before she just drives off. Would she have tried to do it with more cars if they were more available before people started to like walking around? Probably. Uh, yes. We keep saying it. They keep saying it. Keep saying it. This is a bad drug. This yeah. is not a fun drug. I Maybe if you like the demolition derbies, maybe if you like the monster trucks, this seems like a fun drug. It's not a fun no. drug. No, not even for that. You know why? Because all those cars in Demolition Derby are meant to be destroyed. They're not the actual cars you drive to the Demolition Derby in. This, they're not your passenger car that you have insurance on. Any drug that makes you this seem like a good idea is a bad one. We have good ones and bad ones. This is Ooh. a bad one. I'm seeing the like arrest like video clip now that goes on. Like the, it's on the highway where they pulled her over. Yep. That many cop cars. Tra traffic blocked in L.A. all day because oh, yeah. of this lady. Uh, oh. uh, oh, 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 oh. Meth sell the drug. All right, we got yeah, some. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to, to Walmart because, of course, we have shit at Walmart. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, this I'm surprised that didn't happen. I was surprised this didn't happen at a Walmart parking lot, by the way, with that behavior. So, Actually, sorry. this story is, is kind of surprising. This is a different take on a Walmart story, but it's no less stupid. Okay. Woman accused of embezzling over $31,000 while working at a Walmart cashier in Tulsa. Uh, Officers say uh, other employees reported seeing uh, Shady Ben Patey stealing money from the cash registers and hiding it in her pockets. According to police, employees say they allegedly saw her take between nine hundred and five. dollars thousand dollars on camera 15 different times just stuffing five thousand dollars in cash at one point and walking out of walmart god she's been taking money for about five months to pay for her tuition and bills all right look th this is one of those cases where someone i, I call this columbus syndrome where someone okay. thinks they have discovered something, when in fact a lot of people already got there before them. Yeah. She's sitting there at work going, why don't people just take the money? It's right here. Why don't people just take it? I'll take the money. Why hasn't anyone thought of this before? There's like a fucking 17,000. Like, how can you not know the cameras are there? When I go to the Walmart checkout, there's a big screen up on the ceiling that yeah. shows you walking up to the cash register, and you don't know where that camera is, but it can clearly fucking see you. And yeah. it's got little yellow rectangles. The stupid AI is like, I think this is a part. And, and there are cameras. There are ca every, every everywhere in the walmart i get walmart pays their employees crap i get it this is true i get it 
But you know what they don't skimp out on? The security at every single Walmart. Not only is Nash's thing about the TV screen, the giant monitor showing everyone that walks in and out, not only is that being recorded at all times, but also you walk through metal detectors. Mm -hmm. You walk through, um, I can never remember. Near field. The vestibule. Yeah, near field. Yeah, near yeah. field. You walk through a vestibule that usually has more metal detectors. You have so many things tracking you as soon as you step foot in. Why do you think as an employee you're not going to get caught? Like, I, like, did she think she was slick or something? It's like, no one's going to see this. And her other, the other co-workers are just like, is she doing it again? Yep. Fuck. How much you got this time? 5000 Wow. Now, I, I was, I was, I, you know why it took five months to catch her? Because ain't nobody snitching. Ain't nobody snitching, and also, if she was working at the cash register, there's only two people allowed to the cash register at all times at Walmart, out of the 20 lanes. So it's, yeah. it's her and somebody else. Like, the other guy has the line. And yeah. that guy is like five, th th there's only, there's oh, like yeah. one random on other side. Yeah, yeah. The only lane they keep open at Walmart at all times is the cigarette lane. Yeah. That's the only one. There's a cashier there at all times because there's no yeah. other way to sell cigarettes. Yep, and that probably was that one because that's where cash is handed the most and big bills for cartons and stuff. But I'm just breaking it down. Say, just for sake of argument, $100 bills is all she took. That's still how many? Like 50 $100 bills that she had to keep going like... In one shot? Yep. And you still went back for more? <laughs> like, what was the total amount? 31 grand in cash. From Walmart's, like just steal from Walmart, like the rest of us, waste time on duty. Ugh. Oh, they steal oh your wages, steal right back. Hey, yeah. Also, they would not notice for a second thirty-one thousand dollars of stolen merchandise over the course of a couple months. They would. They not. would be like, they would not even write it off and send it in. They'd be like, eh. However, when your cash register is $31,000 short over a few months, they're going to look at that. You could literally, if you were a cashier at the Walmart, you could get your friend to come in and walk oh, out yeah. with a big screen TV and just let them do it. Yep. There you go. There's like a great you that goes up to them while they're doing it too. Yeah. And that probably still wouldn't be enough for them to stop them yep. because like the Walmart security is not allowed to physically touch you, touch you or harass you in any way. Even if you're stealing something, you can just walk right in. Yep. There's people with like, uh, steal the merchandise, not the money. There you go. Yeah. And then We're just sell it. Just sell the merch. harder. And just sell the merch. You easily could have sold so, like a lot of different stuff I at don't, Walmart. I, like on eBay. Uh, we're helping, but we're not. <laughs> no, these are not new ideas, by the way. I assure you. I assure you. I've worked at Best Buy twice. Yeah. I assure you, these are not new ideas. Yeah. Uh, I'm just stunned over that. 31000 Five grand. I know. We're already going off on a tangent. I used to work at a Best Buy, and my manager um, was busted for uh, doing gift cards. And he stole something like, like forty, fifty thousand dollars in gift cards over a course of like two months, and he just did, and and like, and then he vanished. My manager, yeah. one day I go in, there's no manager. He left town with all the fucking gift cards. Gift cards. Yeah. Oh. It's like, okay, you got fifty grand in gift cards, but boy, oh boy, are you gonna be in a lot more trouble? And that's not gonna pay a lot of bills, unfortunately. Well, speaking of paying Good. bills. Uh... You're paying bills. You, you you need to do advertisements to pay bills. I understand that. However, sure. ad placement is kind of important. You kind of want to balance that stuff out to be in the right right particular position. And this one was not. Um, call this uh, evil serendipity, I suppose. McDonald's takes down tasteless McCrispy advert <laughs> after it appears opposite crematory. <laughs> You're McGrounded, McDonald's. Good, sweet mercy. You had to have known. There had to have been a way to check that, double check that before putting it there. There it is. There it is. Just right there. McCrispy. Oh. McDonald's. That's a me That's an instant meme. That's a real life meme right there. <laughs> yeah. McDonald's is set to remove an advert for its McCrispy burger. It's not a burger. It's a chicken sandwich. What are you talking about? 
After there, there is no McCrispy burger, but if there's a McCrispy burger at McDonald's, they overcooked it. It's burnt. Yeah, oh, it's not a McBurger. It's a McChicken. By the way, I get that too. But after it was rather oh. unfortunately positioned opposite a crematorium. Yeah, oh. fast food chain ended up on a bus stop directly across from Penmount Crematorium in Cornwall, right next to a sign pointing to the crematorium. Well, the unintended placement was met largely with hilarity. Some expressed concern that it could cause offense. One person who's on the funny side vowed, if I was there, if I was from there and getting cremated, I'd put in my funeral pans to purposely try and buy this. Some point out the words, eat me. <laughs> Some point out the sign could upset grieving families. One woman whose mother-in-law was cremated at the establishment last year said, I can see the funny side. It's tasteless, and I'm sure some grieving family members won't like seeing it when visiting Penn Mount for the funeral and cremation of a loved one. Oh. How the fuck did some- <laughs> had to... Someone had to have been able to check before. They had to have known. Like, the dude comes by with the posters, gets out, opens the thing, puts it in, locks it out, looks up for a second. Oh, wait. I'm not paid enough. And moves right along. True. It's not his fault either. Like, it's not that guy's fault. Also, the little mini slogan below the chicken sandwich, a new favorite here to stay. <laughs> all I'm thinking is, all I'm thinking is, Grandpa? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Everything about it's just a disaster. It's, oh. it's good Here's a new favorite. Huh? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> There, you know, it, I understand. It, it honestly could have been an innocent mistake. And again, this is a perfect meme already made for you. But goodness, there has to be a better way to double check before you put it up. This There has to be. It, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if I worked at the crematorium, I would have thought that was amazing. Because after honestly, a certain point in time, yeah. like, have you ever watched uh, Six Feet Under? After a certain point mm -hmm. in time, you get a little a nerd to this stuff, you know? Yeah. When you work at a hospital for years, something like this is not offensive. It's just, oh, okay. That's good. You don't even think twice about it. But at McDonald's, you, you shouldn't be that numb to gallows humor. You shouldn't be. Okay. Ugh. We've got another one, and this one's from Michigan. And we've seen folks go to ridiculous lengths to try to get out of work. I've seen, we, especially over the pandemic, we've seen people try to call in having, you know, the, the having COVID and stuff. The, and we've seen people fake um, kidnappings and we've seen them fake bomb threats. This is the first time we've ever seen this from a teacher. Oh. Uh -huh. Michigan teacher plants bomb threat note to get day off. Michigan teacher is facing charges after allegedly planting a bomb threat note in his classroom to get a day off. Note was found on Thursday, February 2nd in the Hazel Park Junior High School classroom of Paul Jacobs, 40, of Livonia. They said the school would be blown up the next day. Police thought Jacobs saw the note but failed to report it. The building was searched by officers and canine units Thursday, but no explosives were discovered. Now they believe Jacobs placed the note himself with the intention of classes being canceled. He was charged with making an intentional threat and act of violence against the school employees or students. And here's the fun bit. It's a one-year misdemeanor. Misdemeanor. Get out of here, Mr. That, that's not, that's, what message does that send to those junior high kids, by the way? Slap on the wrist? Uh, I, if, if, that, that says to me, um, a lot more bomb threats, a lot more day off. That's, that's... I was just thinking, too, those kids, first of all, will not be able to pay attention when they come back to school. Not a chance. <laughs> Junior high age? Uh-uh. They think this is hilarious. Two, can you imagine how many bomb threats are going to be written on notes now? They saw it worked. You proved it worked. And you're not going to have to cancel school for the rest of the year because you're not going to be able to get them in. Then Jedi in the channel says, hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> Like, fuck's it. All right, you, some kids can roll with this shit. But we're in America right now, and this isn't just like, hey, free day out of school. 
no, no, we, th- 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 this no. is some, sell- like, there's, there's horrible shit every fucking day in schools. Yeah. You're gonna fuck weapons with- at, yeah, weapons at school is a serious thing right now for years with deaths, not just people getting hurt, death. And this guy's gonna threaten a bomb to get, cap- just get out of school, get an extra day off. Like, you're gonna, you are gonna seriously fuck with the kids. They don't need this what shit. Is it about? 40 years old, too, and you're already giving them PTSD in junior high science class. Now, I, I, I understand the kids are not great sometimes, especially in junior high. They're in that, that fine. Year. They are just becoming little monsters, little wild hellions. Yes. They, they've just discovered hormones. However, this is a bit much. Yeah. Um, normally, they can get a substitute if you give them enough leeway, too. You don't have to write a bomb threat the day before, whatever this was. Oh, we just figured he didn't see it. So this was obviously a plan. This wasn't a spur of the moment thing. Just keep a thought into this. Just call in dead. That's a better idea. Call in dead. You wouldn't have a year-long misdemeanor on your record, which I'm still shocked that that's all you got. That lawyer is amazing. If that's all he got, I'm sorry. I can't come to work today. I'm dead. I may be dead tomorrow. I will check and see if I'm dead the following day. But I am. And if that brat Billy's still in my class, I'm dead the rest of the week, too. Uh, next one, I, they, we keep seeing people try to rob the weirdest of places. I don't understand why they think there are hidden, hidden riches in certain places. Maybe I can kind of get this one. But this seems like a lot of trouble for a very little payoff. Um... Windsor police say thieves use excavator to break into bingo hall. <laughs> Windsor police say they have arrested one suspect in a break and enter involving stolen excavator. Police say two suspects allegedly used the excavator to break into a business at the 2300 block of Dougal Avenue. The business was a paradise gaming center. Police say the suspect stole the excavator of the weekend. They use it to smash a six-meter hole in the wall of the building. 42-year-old Armhurst man has been charged with break and enter and theft over $5,000. Police are looking for additional suspect, 43-year-old Windsor man. Really? How, how, much, how much are you getting out of the bingo hall, really? Yeah, I was going to say, have you ever been to an actual bingo hall? I have. My grandma lived for bingo. Before she passed away, like, because she passed away when I was like 14, 15. Lived for bingo. I remember going there with her. They don't have like a big Scrooge McDuck money bin in the back where all the cash is. They just like throw cash at you when you win. Doesn't work that way. Yeah. Have you ever seen Logan Lucky? Uh huh. Oh, you need to see it. It's, it's a heist. Okay. It's actually done by the guy, surprisingly enough, by the guy who did Ocean's Eleven, but it's way different. It's about a guy okay. who decides they're going to rob uh, a NASCAR speedway. And, you know, it kind of, okay. kind of makes sense. It's like, you know, they have this busiest weekend. All the cash is here. Yeah. I think people have seen shit like that, and they're trying to come up with off-the-wall places that you might not right. expect to get robbed. Yeah. Re- really? The the bingo hall? The bingo. The fucking bingo hall. Why would you even think that that's a lucrative thing? Also, you had access to with that type of machinery to really do that much damage. And you used it for the bingo hall. The bingo hall. There's so many other built, like even like business buildings. A Papa John's is more likely to have serious cash that you could have to run away with at that point. A GameStop. Also, GameStop would have been like, eh, whatever. We're closing if it. Ha- if you have the excavator, you can take the safe. The safe yeah. is coming uh, with you. Yeah, and you don't even have to worry about it either. It won't even flinch. Oh, no matter. How- it even pulls it down. Rachel says Ocean's AARP. (laughs) (laughs) Why the fuck? Man, if you want to see... Man, if you thought some elderly people could be ornery and angry before, you tell them bingo's closed for the month because of those two idiots? Oh. Oh, yeah. This... Tara Tara will go into great lengths to tell you not to mess with the people who play bingo because they have... It's, it's, this is deadly serious to them. This, this is, yeah. 
Oh, my grandma lived for it. She was good at it, too, somehow. I don't know how you'd be clapping, go, but she was. There's like an 82-year-old guy putting on a Batman outfit right now coming for your ass. Yes, yes. Like, I assure you, yeah, no, he's coming armed, too, just for you, too. Canadian Batman, also. He's not going <laughs> to be as nice as you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh. Uh, fine. Wrapped five. 43 year old Windsor man. What's the end game? What, what, what is that end game? Does he have, and also I like to imagine like with the cash, there's all the bingo chips and the little markers and the cards. And it's just like a big treasure for him to run away with. It's like, you got it. Oh, my well, last one this week. This is from, uh, Dallas. I don't know if you've been paying attention to, uh, what was going on there with the animals, with the zoo. There have been a lot of animals breaking out of the zoo in yeah. Dallas. Well, it turns out it wasn't an accident. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 only know, I, I only saw someone relieved like there was like a bear and some other ones too, but I, I didn't know anything else besides that. I want to get up the goofy meme for this one. Texas man jailed in Dallas monkey case says he'd do it again. Nice. Okay, I already like the guy just because that's his statement, so... 24-year-old man now linked to an unusual string of crimes that kept the Dallas Zoo on the lookout for missing animals. Bill Belisi swiped two monkeys for their enclosure, took them on the city's light rail system to make his getaway. Oh, so he stole two monkeys and then got on the train with the monkeys. Davion Irwin says he loves animals. That's his release from jail. He would steal more. All right. Not a good way to get out. That's incentive to keep you in. You dumb, dumb man. 20, you're 24. You think you're, yeah, I, you think you're taking on the world. You're 24. You're a fucking idiot. With your two monkey sidekicks, you're taking on the world, apparently, on the subway. Urban, who remained jailed Tuesday on $25,000 bond. No kidding. Uh, was arrested last week after asking questions at a downtown Dallas aquarium about animals there. Yes, the aquarium also. He's charged with six counts of animal cruelty, two counts of burglary. Um, Irvin told police that I tw January 29th, waited until dark, jumped a fence to get to the zoo grounds, cut the metal mesh from the enclosure, and took the two emperor tamarind monkeys. Um, he's also been charged in two of the odd events over a span of weeks at the zoo and is linked to another. For the taking of the monkeys, Irvin faces one count of burglary. Um, he also faces a burglary charge in relation to the escape of a clouded leopard named Nova, who was discovered missing January 13th. A cut in her enclosure, and the zoo was, uh, cut was found in her enclosure, and the zoo was closed as a search was launched. Irvin told investigators he wanted to take Nova, but that he was only able to pet her before she got on top of her enclosure. Like... I'm yeah. gonna take the fucking le It's a leopard. leopard. It was a leopard. I would not a bear, but a leopard. You tried to kidnap a leopard? How are you alive? It's gonna How? be friends with me. No. <laughs> Giving a kiss, little one. Oh, uh, uh. goodness. I, I think you, this is, this is Grady. He is not a leopard. He is a house cat. The difference is he is a house cat. A leopard is not, a leopard is like opposite of that entirely. Everything he's doing right now, a complete fucking opposite. Not to mention, the leopard is what, 20 times the size as Grady? Probably, yes. Roughly? Yes. Oh, how, what was the escape escape plan for that one? The subway again? Okay, that's actually impressive if he tries that. Goodness. Who is at least to fucking stop him? He has a little dog leash. He's like, Whoop. okay, buddy, let's go on the subway. If you get on the subway with a leopard, like, the, oh, the, yeah. the I'm, I'm gone. Get, the shit you can get away with on a subway just doing normal shit. You bring a leopard, I know. ain't nobody fucking with you. I, I agree. I'm going to the other side and staying quiet and getting off at the next stop, no matter where it is. Oh, goodness. That, that, I'll do it again. Do you want to be in the jail? Because that's how they keep, that's why they keep you in the jail. You, you don't, they, it just, it just keeps going too. Uh, this is, this is a terrible Batman villain. Math Tan says, you have a leopard, they'll spot you. Oh. Uh. uh... 
You're going to hell. What was he going to do with the aquarium? That's a good question, though. You put like a fucking what, manta gonna... ray in your pants or some shit? Yes. That's his, oh, is that his ranged weapon? He pulls out the manta ray or the stingray and just holds it up in front of him. Uh, you know, I, I Gretchen loves animals. She would never, ever hurt one or endanger one if her life depended on it. This guy, on the other hand, any means necessary. Any. But this, 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 you dumb shit. Oh, people are like, I'd steal an otter. Try. Just try Good to luck. steal luck. Good luck, sir. Like, there's probably people in the, the people in the aquarium be like, you go ahead. You go right ahead. Like, people kind of, like, otters are not omnivores. They're, they're, they're carnivores. They're not omnivores. Yeah, they're, they're, they're little hunter, but they're adorable and they play with one another. Yeah, they're not, they're they not. will fuck bite your fingers off. Also, physically, they're heavy, dense, and constantly slippery. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Record it for us. <laughs> oh, that was that was the news for this week. First, oh my god. First thing we learned is leave the animals alone. Yeah. And, and after you steal one, think about your life. Don't like have a checklist of every animal you'd ever wish you'd had and just bring it home on the subway. I steal pets from the popular people. And <laughs> <laughs> now that's in my fucking head all week. Um, we, we've learned that the bingo hall is not a secret trove of riches. No, I'm telling you, those two guys are doomed. There's a lot of angry people in Canada that are hunting them. Ugh. We, uh, we've learned that there are better ways to get off work than planting a bomb threat in a school. Teachers have some of the worst jobs in America. A year. And I cannot believe a year crazy. misdemeanor. I know that is a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor. That alone blows me away. I'm. I think I used to. Th I thought you, if you say bomb and shit, they bring you like the terrorism motherfuckers. Apparently not. Yeah. I thought that was like a serious threat and offense. Also, with children involved. <laughs> Goodness. We've learned, like with many other things in life, uh, with advertising. Location, location, location. Yeah. Um, better luck next time, but, you know, McDonald's. We, I, I feel like they learned the lot. I feel like they can learn from this, though. I feel like they'll be okay. We learned that if you're going to steal from the Walmart, go for the merchandise, not the cash. Trust me, they don't know half the shit that's on the shelf. I go to their website. It says they have something. I go there. It's never there. You'll be fine. And by the time you've stolen it, there's already truckloads of more birds coming, so they'll never even know it's gone. They'll know if your money is missing that you're supposed to be responsible for at the till at the end of the day. They will always know. They can't keep up with the merchandise to say their fucking lot. And Susie, your, uh, your numbers were down $3,000 today. Something happened. Oh, I don't know. We have learned that, uh, finally we've learned that, um, Meth is a terrible, this is not something we need to learn, but meth is a terrible drug. It's not a, any drug that has you smashing up a parking lot and running from the police, not a good drug. Just, just get something that you can chill with. Like, if you really need to get up a little bit, get the fucking, get like some fucking espresso or some shit. 